Hi Shai, I just found your topic on laser scanning forum and it seems to me that you can use a cloud compare to generate some report uh, with deviation f um, of your uh, cylinder from vertical axis and actually a cloud compare have a plugin especially for the things uh, it's allow you to generate a heat map and also it's allow you to generate like 2d representation uh, of a surface of a revolution and let's jump to cloud compare and i will try you to try to show you what i mean so the first thing you need to open your point cloud <coughs> i have the pretty good example of the one uh, and after the point cloud is imported you need to have some basic volume or cylinder that uh, cloud compare with we are, will use to generate a heat map cloud compare have this primitive factory future that allow you to generate a cylinder you mentioned that your um, vertical shaft will be 12 meter in dia diameter so 6 meter in radius and you can um, use any high of your cylinder as high as your uh, vertical shaft is so that just created uh, you may see that this cylinder created have some uh, not so many polyline so let's just increase its poly count a little bit after that you can select cylinder and point cloud and here there is a, a point for computing the, um, a distance between a point cloud and our cylinder there is also some settings you may want to apply it to have a better resolution for me that pretty enough press apply and we can export the cloud from that and uh, what we have here the first thing is a heat map with a deviation from uh, perfect cylinder and here is a scalar field that showed us that uh, let's just adjust the value a little bit to have better vi visual representation and here you can see that the blue one is where the cylinder or or scanner data goes inside or perfect <coughs> example cylinder and the red value it's the places where or scanner data is actually bigger than 12 meter in diameter and it's already a good data to represent to the client but um, that things it's probably better the only thing that we need to cut off this point with the blank data to do that we just need to adjust our scholar field a little bit and export only the data that is um, that have some value and after that we can um, convert this color field to RGB color um, let's turn off a color field here it's a little bit tricky to work in cloud compare but for that task you can just follow some steps and it will be fine so it's already a good example what's going on but also we can just um, export the data that point cloud to uh, AutoCAD let's jump to recap and create some RCP file for importing to AutoCAD and now just click create So one very fast um, that's we have our data on RCP format and here I have prepared some grid already uh, actually don't need it right now we just need to insert our point cloud here 
and let's use UCS by view command and also we can insert our grid here so the client will know that um, that deviation where the point cloud become bigger than 12 meter is begin from h meter from the bottom of our vertical shaft and also we can create some scholar field let's import it to AutoCAD 2 um, mm -hmm. Let's call it somehow, doesn't matter. And we can attach this scholar field to our file too, so the client will know that this deviation become on the H meter from the bottom and it's somewhere between H and 10 centimeter. Also, you can, for more precise things, you can uh, generate um, ASCII-grid file and it looks like Excel with coordinates <coughs> of, our, of our point cloud but I don't know how to So that's all what I would like to show you, hope you found it interesting and you can just print it and you probably will be good with that data.